Hello, how are you? The title of today's video is GitHub Tutorial 6 Install POSS Git POSH-GIT Since we will use PowerShell for GitHub, it is a natural path to install POSS Git that is a dedicated PowerShell module for Git. There are two features worth briefly mentioning here. The first feature is, after this module is installed, when you change directory into a git repository, the git status summary information is displayed in the PowerShell prompt. In this example, it shows that the current branch is master. The local branch is at the same commit level as remote branch. Staging area in color green has zero edit file, one modified file, zero removed file. Working directory in color red has zero edit file one modified file, zero removed file. The exclamation mark in red color at the end indicates there are staged changes in the working tree. For more details on how to interpret the git status information, please refer to the website showing here github.com slash delbk slash pause dash git the second feature is that you can use tab to complete common git commands remote names and branch names for example if you want to enter command git pool origin master you can type git pu then press tab space or then tab space ma then tab give it a try when you have a chance it feels good before we start the installation make sure to run PowerShell console not irc to avoid the problems mentioned in previous tutorial. Now we come down to actually install pause git. First, query if pause git module has been installed with get module command. Then send command install module to install it for current user. Of course, you can also install for all user as you see fit. After installation, use import module to start using this newly added module. If you want to automatically load pause git module each time you open PowerShell console application, you can do so by command add dash pause git to profile. Afterwards, you can inspect if the profile file has been updated by viewing the change with notepad dollar sign profile dot current user current host command. That's all the steps for installation. Actually, there are only two essential commands. One, install module. Two, import module. Let's take a look at the whole process in PowerShell console. Step 1. Query if pause git module 
has been installed with get module command. Step 2. Send command install module to install it for current user. Type Y to install the module from PS Gallery. And wait for the installation to finish. It usually takes less than one minute to finish installation. Use get module command again. You will see that pause git shows up this time. Step 3. When installation is finished, use import module to load pause git module. Step 4. Send command add dash pause git to profile to update profile file. Step 5. Inspect the profile file with Notepad. In summary, run PowerShell console, not IRC. Install PostGit module with install module. Then load it with import module commands. That's it. We are ready to move on to actually use PowerShell for GitHub. Thanks for watching.